Hello, this is Joyce, and I would like to welcome you to another Saturday morning challenge of friends. And even though it's not Saturday morning right this moment, it is Friday night, and I am off until I don't go back to work until Wednesday. So I will be trying to get my craft on. I am working on getting my stuff ready for the craft show at the end of October. And tonight I am working on my project for Saturday Morning Challenge of Friends. And that is where Chante and I challenge each other to do different projects, use up our uh, product that we own, uh, stretch ourselves to do more than we think we can do. I mean, there are things I am not good at, and this challenge is really one of them. I have... Um, I'll tell you in a minute what it is, as you can probably see from all the stuff on my desk. But we challenge each other, and sometimes it works for me, and sometimes it's not quite all of that. But I keep trying because the only way to get better at those things that you are not that good at, or that you think you're not that good at, and that's to do them. So I love doing these challenges, and hey, I hope we can keep going. And we shall see. But the challenge this week was to make uh, background pages in your art journal. I haven't touched my art journal in I don't know how long. It's been that long. Um, and just to do backgrounds. It don't matter what you use or what you what it is. Uh, just backgrounds in your art journal. So these are some of the things that I used. I tried to keep it simple. I did several different pages. Um, I used this mixed media stencil from Dina Wakely. It's one that I got at Tuesday morning, I'm thinking. Maybe not. doesn't have a sticker on it, but I got that. And you know me, I didn't pay full price for it, so I can put that back up. I used some of the Tim Holtz inks. I used the... Spice Marmalade, the Pickled Raspberry, and the Peacock Feathers. Uh, yep, so I used those three. Let's get them out of the way. On uh, one of my pages, I did use the Matte Gel from Liquitex. And that's because I also used... I need to use this stuff up here. This Tim Holtz uh, Tissue Paper. I have had it forever. And it's still a whole lot on that roll, so I try to use it whenever I can. So I use some of that. And I use my little chick brush for applying the matte gel. That's going to go to the trash. On one of my pages, I use these pearlized Martha Stewart paints. And not all that great an idea, but hey, had never opened them, decided to use them on... Page one page I used um, I only use one color but I used um, hmm what did I use gelatos I am I'm just almost drawing a blank but as you can see my bucket is full of gelatos and plus I have this set here that's never been opened and I there's another one around here somewhere like that one or different colors that's never been opened. And okay, those are the products that I use. So let's start out first. Well, I'll show you this one because it's kind of ugly. I mean, not ugly, it's different. This page originally, let me see if I can take it up some. Oops, don't worry. Okay, this page originally already had paint on it from before, uh, some time ago when I would just clean my brush and clean my papers off and I just rub it on a page because you have too much paint on your brush or your rag or your um, baby wipe. You just rub it off on another page, you know, and you'll find pages throughout my art journal that I've done that, purple, you know, and I've got some completed pages in there. But that one, I kind of like it. It's got, and that's the one that I use the pearlized paints on. But it, the darker shades that are underneath there, that was already there. That was something that I rubbed off 
of another project. Okay, so that's one background. She didn't say they had to be pretty. And this is one that I just rubbed some of that same paint. It's not really a background. I just cleaned my uh, baby wipes off on that page. So this is one that was already in there. But this is one of my pages here. This is where I use the uh, tissue paper on both pages. I took and I used this gelato. I tried to use the gelato through a stencil. Man, that just did not work for me at all. So I then took a baby wipe and just rubbed it on the sheet. So that first layer over the tissue is the gelatos. Well, I looked at that page and it was just so plain. So then I came back and I decided to use this stencil, as you can see, with uh, my Tim Holtz. I think it's the peacock feathers and so then I just put that extra layer on there and then I like the page better. Now if I was to finish this off I would get me some um, letters and you know come up with what I wanted to put on it and I would just put it right over this. I wouldn't do anything different to it. So then my next page I also use Tim Holtz. I use those same three colors that I showed you and I used, okay, I was washing the other stencil. The other stencil is a Dilution stencil, and that's the diamond shapes. And I went over it, you know, and I did the different colors, and it was uh, okay. And then I took that same stencil and went over the diamond shapes, and then I just kind of filled in the page with it. And I think that works as a background. It's um, different for me but I wanted to use the same project I didn't want to pull out a lot of stuff because I do have to get back to making my you know stuff for the scrap the the craft show my camera is gonna die so you know that's one other one so that gives me what three backgrounds and then I started to do a watercolor on the back of that do not add water to when you're using Tim Holtz, okay? You know that. I know better than that. But I meant to go a couple pages back and I didn't. And I tried to do one in watercolor. Well, this book is not for watercolors. I did not use any gesso on any of my pages, which might have been a mistake. But anyway, so that's just, we'll consider that just crap. <laughs> but anyway, so that is my background those are the backgrounds that I have to show and where's the other one not that and then that one um, and I think that's it and like I said that's something I had done long time ago so those don't count but that's one that I really liked but it got kind of muddy looking you know but I use that same tissue paper just different sections and it came out dark because I tried to use way too many project products. So, like I said, one, that, no, two, I, re I like this one a lot, and then three, and that's really different. I, li I think I, I'm, I'm beginning to like that one. So, those are my uh, backgrounds. I need you to go by and check out Shantae because I know she has come up with something really good and tell her I sent you and I would like to say take a moment to say welcome to all of my new subscribers I am so excited and that is it for this Saturday morning challenge of friends we will be back really soon with another one and I will leave Shantae's um, information in the, bo in the box below and you can go by and check her out. Thank you very much for watching everybody. Bye. This camera is dying. Bye.